So I want you to have a quick and detailed look at this. This is completely shot out here. This gate is damaged. This one snapped in half. This is the piece from this gate here. So this is this is gone. When this shot out, it literally went through the metal gasket. This is not 0.4, no 0.6 millimeters um, thickness. I don't know if you can see this clearly on the camera. I've brought it as close as I can, but look at what's happened here. So a piece of this guide, or maybe the one that broke off. This is where the piece of plastic has gone from underneath the sprocket and it has been pushed through the chain. So I need to take this out. I might have to um, remove the chain if it doesn't work that way and see what happens. Now let's dismantle everything here. I'm gonna start by removing this fail tensioner. I'm going to use the crankshaft locking tool. Now, what I have noticed, the timing has skipped on this engine, and if you do force it, then you will have a contact between the piston and the uh, valves. So what we want to do is we want to have something like this to lock the crankshaft, so you're not putting any tension on the chains and the rest of the components, and then put this in uh, as if you're tightening this bolt here, and just turn um, as you can see this is now loosening that's one chip off these are locked with the thread locker so <clears throat> we'll just do the same when we're installing them again. We'll put some medium Loctite, the blue Loctite, and we're gonna lock them in place. But obviously, in order to do this, you're gonna have to clean the threads really, really well with brake cleaner or petrol or whatever detergent you're using. Otherwise, your thread locker is not gonna work very well or may not work at all. In the next step, I'm going to remove this oil tensioner here. So you want to go in reverse as normal. And just give it a light tap. This is spring-loaded. But it shouldn't be under any serious tension. So just loosen this by hand. There might be a bit of oil to spill from here, which shouldn't obviously be too much. It's just whatever's in the tensioner. Just take that out. That's a 27 millimeter socket, by the way. As you can see, this just rests on top of the bottom bolt, so you can really only remove just the one. And uh, I want to show you, these bolts are unique, I've never seen one of these before, uh, only on this type of engine, N57, possibly the N47 as well. So the, the thread is here on the actual head of the bolt, and they're thread locked, so obviously they don't leak any, any oil and they don't come off as well. I want to show you if your timing is completely out of sync and you don't want to put any tension on the crankshaft or the camshaft so obviously you don't want to have any contact with the pistons and the valves and you don't want to cause any damage so what I've done here is I've put a cable tie on this chain to keep it all together so it doesn't skip and uh, I've put this crankshaft holding tool which comes in the timing kit I will just clamp it in place so it doesn't fall off and what I'm planning to do is just hold it tight with one hand 
and then loosen this bolt. So this is E14 bolt. So just put it in reverse. Make sure this is in reverse and not in you're not. So this is tightening, and this is in reverse. So I'm gonna go anti-clockwise now. I'm gonna put my hand here firmly on this locking tool. Now you may have a bit of movement in the chain, um, but as long as you're not turning the crankshaft or the cams here, you should be okay. Now I've obviously a little bit of a, a space to play, um, as at the moment I just checked all the pistons and valves, so there's no contact, no contact with them. Um, so I'm gonna hold my hand firmly here on this crank locking tool, and that's how you loosen your bolt. This bolt is tightened to 65 Newton meters when uh, installed in place, so it shouldn't have that much tension on it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it back again. And I'm gonna install the removal tool, which comes in the timing kit. So now let's go ahead and remove this pulley off its key and off the shaft here where it's sitting. So in order to do this, we need this special locking tool from the timing kit. It's a two component tool. This is just to help you um, just tighten it in place. This is 13 millimeter head. So what you wanna do is just install it and just start it by hand. Just give it a light tightening and that's it. Then you can pull out this plug and now install your E14 and start loosening. That's it. It's out. Install the removal tool and just take it off. So that's our tools out and this sprocket should be loose. And just a light walk and that's it out. This is the oil pump chain. Sorry, we've already removed the oil pump chain. This is the high pressure um, chain from the crankshaft to the high pressure pump. And that's the sprocket now. Now what you want to do is you want to align your, your sprocket. Let me install this tool. This is by the book by the way. Um, this is by the user manual. And if you're in need of any user manuals for this type of work, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, for a website that has absolutely, um, I would say, every, every single manual that is out there. And uh, they're pretty reasonably priced. I can leave my referral code uh, KM22 so you can get 22% discount off any manual on this uh, website. So I'm gonna rotate the pump and I want to align the notch. I'll show you what I want to do now. I'm gonna bring you closer. So I want to align this notch here. Hopefully you can see it with this notch right there. So I brought you closer. As you can see, we are in a perfect alignment. You want to align this notch with this bump here. I'm going to remove this oiler. In the next step now, this is E8 socket, and it should be pretty easy to come out. You want to use your camshaft locking tool, insert it on the camshaft. These two cam sprockets are connected and this shouldn't move. And now at this point, we should be able to loosen these bolts. These are torqued to 17 Newton meters, so they're not very hard to remove at all. I'm 
I'm dropping them down in my tray so I can rinse them and then when we install them we want them to be nice and clean. And that's all the chains and sprockets removed including the oil extensioners, the whole lot.